Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a crochet collar. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using worsted weight cotton yarn and a size 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, which is also a G. So let's get started. Okay, you're going to want to leave a long tail. So what I do is I just take this and fold it over a few times, like three times. So this is going to be your entire tail, and this is to make the end strap later. So leave a long tail, pull up a slip knot, and with your working yarn, you want to chain 51. After you've chained 51, you're going to skip the first chain and single crochet into the second chain and every chain down the row for 50 single crochets. Now that we have our 50 single crochets, we're going to work the first row. So chain one and turn. Now we're going to skip that chain and do five slip stitches in the next five single crochets. And now we're going to do five double crochets in the next five. Now we're going to do five triple crochets. Now we're going to triple crochet two times in the next stitch. to do five more triple crochets in the next five stitches. Now we're going to do two half double crochets. And now we're going to do one slip stitch. So chain one and turn. You're going to skip your chain and that very first stitch and you're going to single crochet into the second stitch from hook. Now we're going to do three half double crochets. two double crochets, four triple crochets, now we're going to triple crochet twice in the next stitch, so two times in the same stitch. going to do six more triple crochets. One double crochet. Two double crochets into the same stitch. one half double crochet and two slip stitches. Now for the other scallop we're just going to do basically the same thing that we just did. So in the very end, the very first stitch on this side, pull up a loop and chain one. 
this is going to be that chain one that you see and just repeat the exact same thing. So for this third and final row, you want to start 15 stitches from the edge. So just pick an edge, it doesn't really matter where, and then count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So on the 15th stitch from edge, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Skip where you just pulled up a loop and do one single crochet into the next stitch. Now do one half double crochet, one double crochet, triple crochet two times into the next stitch, in the next stitch you're also going to triple crochet two times into that same stitch. as well as the next stitch, triple crochet two times in that stitch as well. Now do two triple crochet, and three double crochet. do two half double crochet and then one slip stitch in the very center. You should be in your center now. Now this side is completely done and we're going to repeat the same thing backwards over this scallop right here. So do one slip stitch two half double crochet, three double crochet, two triple crochets. Now we're going to triple crochet two times in the next stitch. as well as two triple crochet two times in the next stitch. And two triple crochets two times in that very next stitch. Now do one double crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet, slip stitch. Now cut your yarn and pull through. And this is the finished Peter Pan part of the collar. Now is where you're going to want to use your very long tails. So at the very edge of your scallop where you left that long tail, just insert your hook in there, yarn over with your tail, pull through. It may take a bit of maneuvering to find a good place to pull up a loop. And then you're simply going to chain. This is how you're going to tie the collar around your neck. I chain about 30 stitches on each side and then Once you've chained out a lot, simply cut your yarn and just pull it through and pull on it to cinch it. You're going to do that on both sides at the tips and weave in all of your ends and then you're done. Hey guys, so this is the finished product right here. This is what I made today and I love these collars. I own, I own one in every color and I use them to jazz up my outfits all the time. So let me know what you guys thought of the tutorial and what, and if you have any suggestions about what I should make next, leave them in the 
comment box below. Um, I'm planning on making a Totoro hat next week because Crafty Panda suggested that, so thank you so much for the suggestion, and um, I hope I can do it. I've never made an animal hat before, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I just love the way these look with my outfits. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!